Hi, hello friends. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn one of the important and easy concept from mathematics that is from statistics part variance and standard deviation we are going to look into. As we look into the examination point of view for HSTR exam this is very useful okay it is given in the previous year syllabus of HSTR exam that is high school teachers recruitment exams okay so we shall learn about this concept in this video what is variance variance is a measure of how data points differ from the mean value so in statistics all about data right the points all the values we record it tabulate it and um, draw the graph and get the result so here we know that what is mean value the average value okay variance say about how is the points differ from the mean value means how far a set of data are spread out from their mean value that is what is variance as we can observe in this graph so here it starts from 0 and the values are like this from 0 to 0 0.1 0 0.2 like this and mean value is here this is the mean value and this remaining distribution shows that variance okay from mean value how the data is uh, present how data is uh, distributed so about 34.1 percentage is accumulated here and here about very less 13.6 percentage here about only 2.1 percentage of the data is situated here and about 0 0.1 percentage okay so this is the concept of variance as we talk about standard deviation is a measure of the amount of variation of a set of values okay so the standard deviation SD says about amount of variation in the given set of values okay standard deviation we call it as manaka vichalane kanadadali manaka vichalane anta karithivi alva manaka vichalane so yavaglu one questions irutte based on this concept manaka vichalane ennu kandidiri anta heli so if we calculate the variance we can find the standard deviation okay so standard deviation andre how far each score lies from the mean andre madhyanka dinda each score yav elli lie aagi elli iruttade anta heli it says about okay so two you can observe in this graph the mean score lies here okay and the standard deviation how it varies here we can say it varies about minus 1 d left hand side to right to the right side plus 1 sd and then plus 2 it goes like this okay so this is just a representation graphical representation of standard deviation how far the each individual score lies from the mean value so here two points to be noted in case of standard deviation SD if SD is high standard deviation is high the values are far from the mean value okay if it is high H remember H and it is far okay values are far from the mean value if standard deviation is low the values are very close if it is low value values are very close C L O S C. you can just remember this this way okay mainly there are four methods to calculate standard deviation and variation v value those are direct method actual mean method assumed mean method and step deviation method so these are the main four methods to calculate in direct method to calculate the variance formula is sigma x square by n minus sigma x by n whole square already we have solved one sum from the previous question papers you can check into the video playlist okay you will get this so to find the variance this is a formula to calculate sigma that is sigma for standard deviation square root of v whatever value you obtain here in case of variance variance in the sigma square root the country okay 
सो हियर वाट इस एक्स एक्स अरे से आफ स्कोर्स एक्स वन एक्स टू एक्स थ्री एस्टू स्कोर्स अक्स व्याल्यूस एन अरे नंबर आफ् स्कोर्स ओके इफ दर् फै फो टू फै दर् टेन व्याल्यूज टेन अंत इन आक्चुअल मीन मेथड द फार्मुला टू क्यालुलेट वेरियंस सिग्मा डी स्क्वेर बै एन सो इली आक्चुअली इन केस आफ् एच एस टर एक्साम दे मे नाट मेन्शन द मेथड टू क्यालुलेट ओके इलेक्रिप्ट टाइप क्वेश्चन सो दे मे नाट आस्ट द मेथड्स टू क्यालुलेट दिस यू कैन यूज एनी मेथड विच एवर द मेथड यू फॉर फील ईजी एंड आल दिस फार्मुला आर् फार अनग्रूप डेटा ओके टू क्यालुलेट द अनग्रूप डेटा डेटा इज वि वेरियंस एंड सिग्मा व्याल्यू एस थ्री स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन व्याल्यू ओके सो इन आक्चुअल मीन मेथड वी हव् टू क्यालुलेट डी व्याल्यू सो वाट इस डी दि एक्स व्याल्यू इन दि हव् टू क्या मैनस एक्स बार अंत सो दो मेथड्स लेटर वि 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 क्यालुलेट देरियंस आर क्यालुलेट दैंड डिवेशन अंत अट लीस्ट इफ यू नो दिस फार्मुला इट बी इसी फॉर यू टू सेलेक्ट आर समटम ईडेंटिफाई द फार्मुला विच इज नाट यूस्ड विच इज नाट द रईट आंसर अंत कौन सो दट द रीसन ऐम जस्ट मेन्शनिंग हिया ओके सो आक्चुअल मीन मेथडली वि इज इक्वल टू सिग्मा डी स्क्वेर बै एन इज द वेरियन फार्मुला स्टैंडर्ड डिवेशन सिग्मा इज इक्वल टू स्क्वेर रूट आफ् वि सेम एलू स्क्वेर रूट आफ् वि तक बरते third method is assumed mean method okay so in assumed mean method the formula calculate variance is sigma d square by n minus sigma d by n whole square just as, as that of the direct method only ili x value na namu tagoltivi here d value that's it same okay and remember id hege nenpu ittkolodu if you have already x square you no need to take the square if there is only x adakke whole square tagoli ashte okay you can remember this formula in this way and sigma value is square root of v where a is assumed mean illi assumed mean na calculate maadi maartivi okay fourth method is step deviation method so here the formula is same as that of assumed mean into c square where c is common factor of the scores okay ashte so idu the formula then to calculate the sigma value standard deviation square root of v square root of v elladukku common agirutte remember this formula now we shall solve few sums based on this variance and standard deviation that is to calculate variance and standard deviation manaka vichrane kandu hidiyodi hege anta so statistics alli um, general agi mean value andre nimage gottide okay so x bar this is the representation symbol okay next variance ke v standard deviation ke sigma in direct method just now we saw that how to calculate this variance and the formula so mean value x bar is equal to sigma x by n if there are three scores let us take the numbers eno kottirtare 1 2 3 anta 1 2 3 or 4 5 6 so 1 2 3 1 plus 2 plus 3 divided by 3 anta madidre you will get the mean value sigma x by n that's it then for variance we know the formula sigma x square by n minus of sigma x by n whole square idu thagondre variance sigutte then the square root of variance will give us standard deviation okay so here this formula will be useful for suitable for smaller data okay for ungrouped data we are going to check it out now which is not suitable for when the scores are not integers okay this formula you cannot use when the scores are not integers okay as we move to the solutions now calculate the variance and standard deviation of the following 10 scores yes the manaka vicharaneyanna kandidibeku so whatever the scores are written first you take that as the x value okay 14 16 20 10 16 10 14 12 18 20 scores na barkoli then this is the x value add up all this value that gives us sigma x right the, we get 150 x square x square andre for each individual scores you have to square it 14 into 14 16 into 16 so on doing this we get x square value okay then adding all this sigma x square that value is 2372 we get to find the variance substitute for the formula sigma x whole square by n minus sigma x by n whole square sigma x square andre this value the larger value comes first 
seven two divided by number of scores. How many number of scores are there? Ten. So here only they have given ten scores, and so you can just write ten scores if you want to make it sure. You can just uh, count it. And sigma x value is one fifty, n value is ten. Okay, zero zero cancel. This gives us fifteen. So here two three seven two divided by ten gives us two three seven point two, and here fifteen whole square is two twenty five. So subtract this, you will get twelve point two. Standard deviation is square root of variance. So square root of twelve point two is almost about three point four nine. Is the answer okay? Easily you can find out okay. Since in HSTR exam it will be of multiple choice questions, you you no need to draw all these lines and then and there only you can just add and squaring them up you can do and then add them and substitute for the formula. And uh, there was a similar question as that of this question in the previous CM I think two thousand fifteen's uh, HSTR question paper. already we have solved that question and let us look into the similar question give the standard deviation of scores 2 4 6 and 8 is 2.23 find the standard deviation of 7 9 11 and 13 so when there are two set of scores are given we must use our brain that we have to check it out um the common difference 2 minus 7 is minus 5 4 minus 9 is minus 5 6 minus 11 minus 5 8 minus 13 is minus 5 So all this difference is the same. We get minus five minus five. Then when you have like this common difference as the same, then whatever the value standard deviation you have for the previous value that will be the answer. Okay? You calculate a mark by a gila. That the answer I give you the mark by which one is ten. Then you will correct that. Give help. That is ten scores. Let ten na give twenty. I give you. You will get the same answer. Okay? Let us check it out. This within a within no time you can just answer. But check mark only. वेन को सती सो इली वाट आलरे दे हव गिवन एस टी स्टैंडर्ड डिवेशन व्याल्यूल को सो सैकेंड व्याल्यूगे ना नोड़े सेवन नईन इलेवन एंड थर्टीन सो दिस इज एक्स व्याल्यू सम सिग्मा एक्स फार्टी एक्स स्क्वेर व्याल्यू इश् बंद सिग्मा एक्स स्क्वेर सब्स्यूट फॉर द फार्मुला आफ्टर सब्स्यूटिंग हियर फोर ट्वेंटी डिवैड बै फोर फार्टी डिवैडेड बै फोर बिकॉज वन टू थ्री फोर ओनली नंबर आफ स्कोर्स इतना यू गेट वन नाट फै मैन टेन हॉल स्क्वे टेन हॉल स्क्वेर अरे हंड्रेड सब्टैक्टिंग दिस यू गेट फै स्क्वे रूट आफ फैव इस टू पॉइंट टू थ्री सो विच इस ईक्वल टू द प्रीवियस् व्याल्यू वाट एवर दे हव गिवन ओके सम आगे ईर क्वेश्चन बंदा विथट क्यालक्युलेटिंग डैरेक्टली डैरेक्टी यू कैन रईट दिस इज द आंसर अंत ओके ओके सो इन द फॉलोइंग वीडियो वि शेल कंटिन्ू with the different methods of calculating standard deviation and also variance and also we will check it out with the other common topics from statistics also which will be useful for your hsr exams if you like this video don't forget to give a like in and in the following classes i shall continue to solve other previous year question papers also which will be useful for hsr exams along with as this tet notification will be very soon it will be released so as a preparation we shall begin with the tet preparation also okay you can also take up the tet exams upcoming tet exams to improve your scores already if you have scored out of 150 ga even if you get the 100 marks then then koli so if you want to improve your score you can do it no problem so each marks whenever you get um, added up it will increase your if you apply for gps tier exams gela anthe helidre it will be useful okay thank you thank you for watching